August 15th, 2022. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. I was coming back from uh, Worlds of Fun. And traffic wasn't too bad. It was moving at a pretty good pace. I had a oversized uh, truck in front of me that was hauling uh, some big equipment. And off to the right side, there was a truck, another 18-wheeler had pulled off with its flashers on. But this 18-wheeler doesn't signal or anything to get back on. He just pulls back over with his flashers on. And I had, as you can see here, I want to show you guys this, this uh, small little uh, firefighter vehicle. I don't know if it's a paramedic truck or something like that. It got over. When it seemed that I had to stop in front of this thing and this 18-wheeler was pulling out, it pulled off into the third lane over. So watch this, guys. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do the front view of this. So see, you were dead a dead stop. I had to slam it down at 65 miles an hour to stop for this guy. And I'm going to show you where this was. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. And we're coming back 435. I'm going to bring this in a little bit here. Try to get it so you can see it. And uh, you can see the one off to my left here. And I'm watching the vehicles behind me too as they're coming around. But right up in the, this corner right here, you can see this truck's right around this bend up here. And even with this oversized vehicle coming up like that, he should have never pulled out. He should have waited till it was more clear. But he should have also had his left turn signal to get back on the road, and he didn't. I want you guys to see this now. Now watch. And there was nowhere to go because I got a one in my blind spot, so I couldn't go off to the left. As you can see, his flashes are on. Our oversized truck, other 18-wheeler, is getting pretty close up beside him, and there's nowhere to go. Isn't that something? Not very tactful, guys. Now, I don't know who this trucking line is here, but I got a better picture of it, because I grabbed my phone since I was having to set and wait. And that's what was on the trailer of it. Hold on, guys, just a second. Okay, I'm back. And there's the tag on the trailer. It said C145168. C145168. That's pretty weird. That's pretty strange. Wasn't very good driver who was driving this, and that wasn't a good thing, no matter what. Anybody being observant would have never pulled out with that oversized load slow coming in. Plus, he didn't signal to get back on the road. He had just his emergency flashers, and he was just setting off the side of the road. But then on top of it, then he comes back and he follows us for a ways, which is even more interesting. I'm going to show you that next. Hold on. Okay, guys, I want you guys to see this here from the front view. So we just went on around him. It was like weird, very strange. You know, all these truck drivers, too, a lot of them, you know, way back, they used to pop those pills and they drove long hour stuff. They'd get crazier than anything. So as you can see, we're heading back towards 23rd Street. And, you know, I got thinking about this, too. I thought, well, maybe he has tried to turn around and go back to the truck stop, but he could have turned right off that other ramp there before 23rd. So that's even more weird about this guy in this 18-wheeler. Weird. And the, the, I mean, we got some nutty people out here on the road lately. But this was just, I don't know. So I'm going to show you here. Very strange. You know, they used to have all those trailers. You say, 
call if our driver's doing good or if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys. I went on down the ramp here. Not counting the homeless people. It was walking across here to, for stuff panhandling. But hold on just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Now, I'm going to show you, this is when we, this is from my back part of my dash cam, when we went around him, or we could get around him. There's a truck right there. Now, another ramp there, or what is that? Is that Truman? I can't remember. In Pitts Avenue, one of the, one of the two, something there. So if this guy was having truck problems, he could have turned around, went back. He didn't. This is, just, like I say, some of the, I mean, they're nuts. So watch this. This would be a good one for DOT. You know, they used to carry those portable scales out there. Check these guys, too. I haven't seen them out there on the road much lately doing that. So hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. Coming down the ramp. See if we can see that tag on there. No, oh, hold on just a second. What does that say? Pay twenty one ninety one. Hold on just a second. Oh, it says pay P A V P A. Yeah, it looks like it says PAV2191. Interesting. Now I'm going to show you it turned around and went back up the ramp. This is crazy. This guy pulls out and almost caused me to run into him. On top, anybody else, I mean, if they would have been watching, somebody would have been underneath this 18 wheeler. It, it was not good, guys. But, on half of it, then this guy follows me? He's got to have a screw loose. I don't know. That's weird. But watch this. We're going to go on here. I'm going to sit here. See, I thought the guy might have been going down. There's caves, if you guys know, down here on 23rd Street. A lot of industrial area. So I figured the guy was probably just going down to the industrial area. But he wasn't. He turns around and goes back up on the ramp. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Hold on now. There's the truck. One underneath the bridge. Right there. I'm going to see if I can bring it in. Here he goes. Going back on the ramp. Now that's weird, guys. Check this out. See if I can get this pencil in here. Right there. So he's turning right back to go back up on the ramp. Up 435, go back north again. I 
don't know. Pretty crazy stuff out there, guys. Anyway, keep your eyes open. Keep uh, your headlights on. Make sure you got good tight brakes, too. Anyway, have a good one.